just started snowballing and you know word of mouth turned into I got a full-time job for me and my wife uh, she's been working with me full-time about the last three years now uh, we've had a full-time shop for the last five and she's future looking bright that's wonderful on all Mason models uh, European Asian vehicles uh, luxury brands Audi uh, Mercedes any of those Porsche uh, we work on Cadillacs, Ford, Chevy, Dodge, anything, pretty much. Great. Gas Great. Can you show us uh, some more of your shop? Yeah, come on, guys. Great, thank you. We've got a 2,000 square foot facility. we got a bunch of all of our specialty equipment and specialty diagnostic equipment that are in these blue cabinets. Mm -hmm. High-end battery chargers, testers. What's this over here? Oh, that's actually my uh, grandmother on my mom's side. Uh, she used to be, she used to race when she was a derby queen. I believe it was a uh, nine out of 14 pole positions in a row back in 60, 1960. Wow, that's amazing. A derby queen. Yeah, that's what they called them apparently. Pretty cool. And that's your sign you have made up? Yeah, that's an old sign. It's actually uh, somebody designed that for us and donated that for some, some car work. Very cool, very cool. Um, can you show us the rest of your shop? No problem, come through this way. Hey, thanks for having us. Thanks for showing us your shop. Um, I noticed that American flag. Uh, it's uh, pretty patriotic of you. Um, I understand you're a service a provider. You, you served in the military? Yes, sir. I was in the Air Force. Um, I was an F-16 crew chief of fixed fighter planes, basically. Wow, All right. very cool. <laughs> well, uh, if you can fix fighter planes, I bet you can fix a vehicle. <laughs> it's nice. A little less stressful than a fighter plane. Yeah, I would think so. Well, great. Um, can you tell us about your lifts? We have a John Bean and a Ben Pack 10,000 pound uh, post lift. Mm -hmm. They're just a general purpose lift, usually picks up pretty much anything you need to. Wow, okay, very cool. All right, show us the rest of your shop. I'm, I'm eager to see what we got. Our status board, which is a whiteboard marker board that we use for keeping track of everything that we got going on for the day. We have our tech data, our internet, computers, two different uh, snap-on scanners for handling anything that might come up, any kind of specialized relearn procedures, uh, anything for any of the high-end cars that require dealer-only tools, these snap-on scanners can actually perform most of those functions. Wow, very cool. Uh, and this is your snap-on tools? Oh Are you yeah, a snap-on snap man? Toolbox. <laughs> Have a small snap on addiction. Good work. Uh, if you follow me back this way, we got another smaller toolbox for my helper. We can handle welding on small scales for mostly exhaust repairs and stuff like that. Uh, we have a shop press, which is good for pressing any kind of bearings, doing any kind of uh, press work that requires 20 ton shop press. We mount and balance tires here. I have two of a solvent based. Uh, parts cleaner as well as an aqueous uh, soap and water parts cleaner. This way we can uh, put the cars back together and have them looking better than they did when they came in. Very cool. Um, general shop equipment, shop vac, cherry picker, creeper, uh, a couple of few jacks, transmission jack, a couple of support jacks. We also do AC machine, we also have, excuse me, AC work here. We do AC work here at Dave's uh, the correct way with the AC machine. That's great. You know, folks, if you want to come out and uh, get some work done on your vehicle, come out to a family owned and operated, um, locally owned in St. Petersburg, Florida. Uh, Dave and his wife, Jen, uh, this gentleman served our country as well. So, you know, uh, before you go to one of these big corporate uh, guys that are going to charge you an arm rig, why don't you try Dave out? He used to work on jets. Uh, we served our country and uh, just uh, great people, great folks doing a big service to help us develop these community food gardens. Um, so Dave, I'm anxious to see our van. Let's go check it out, man. All right, let's check it out. So this is the Beast. Uh, a little uh, back history on this. My friend uh, over at Trolley Boats, uh, Captain Buck, he builds land and sea vessels. Uh, he actually donated this van to me. His father-in-law passed away and it's been in his, I guess it's been in his yard about six years, Dave. He says it's got 50,000 miles on it. I know it's got a bunch of holes, lots and lots of rust. Uh, this is a big task for you, brother. Uh, maybe you got yourself in a little deeper than you thought. Well, to say the least, I wasn't necessarily excited when it got dropped off the back of the truck. I was kind of, had an old man. So, um, yeah, I got a surprise for you guys. Really? Yeah. Cool. 
Like surprises. I was considering actually buying this van myself, using it as a, like a camper van for the weekend. But wow. when I heard about what you guys are doing, we reached out to First Unit Productions, and instead of asking to purchase it for our own personal use, they, we got them to donate it to you guys for your community guard food gardens. Oh, that's that's amazing! I'm so taken back. Thank you, and thank them. Uh, I can't wait to shake their hands personally. I want to shake your hand. Shake your hand. Thank you. Jen, 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 my wife, she's the one who uh, prepared the deal and talked to all parties involved and kind of made this work. So she's a big hand on her. Wow. Thank so. you, Jen. <laughs> that is so cool. I mean, I don't know what to say. I'm really taken back. Well, let me tell you a little bit about it. This is a 2002 uh, Express 3500, super heavy duty truck. And underneath the hood, we have an 8.1 liter gas motor which is gonna be a lot uh, cheaper in the long run to maintain if something fails. The okay. diesel engines, when they break, they tend to be kind of expensive. Mm -hmm. This thing has a uh, fresh front end underneath with uh, tie rod ends and pitman arms and idler arms and all that. So the front end's nice and uh, sturdy. Uh, it's just a good truck, good, good cold AC, clean inside, right. no holes. Is there anything else that we need to do to make it roadworthy, being we're gonna have our students and our right. heavy capable people here? The one thing we need to do to make it uh, roadworthy is rebuild the transmission. It did lose reverse, and that's what kind of let, led them donate it. Right. Um, and we also need to put some seats down. So as soon as we find some good, uh, safe seats, get the transmission rebuilt, we can be good to go. Being full, we can't do it without the help of the people. And this is uh, for the people and by the people. It's a 501c3 uh, charitable organization called Enviro Community Living Center. Enviroproject.org, and uh, and yeah, thank you guys once again. I'm so stoked. I, I, I'm so blessed. Thank you, God. Uh, thank you, everyone, for, for donating this beautiful van. Um, that's that's all I can say is uh, I'm really happy uh, to be working with you guys. So, uh, cool. All right. Well, peace out from Facebook Land, and we'll be seeing you soon. Bye now. Thanks, guys. Bye. And they say sometimes when you trim it, it grows back even more of Yeah, they grow back this year. This right here, like for sure. Color. All this is really started doing. Like, if you trim it yeah. down, mm. all this stuff is really good looking. It's really good. You know, you I can like really, it. from the ground to the mouth, as they say, you can really taste the it's vegetable. <laughs> mm. It's so good, it's so pungent, so strong. This can is I... just a small garden. Dave, Dave just did this less than a month ago, right, Dave? It's been a couple months, I think. Mm. But it's just fun. Come out and check on them. Can I get a picture of you four if you want four?